The NS-37 grip by Flycontech is inspired by the AJS-37 Vigan Jet Fighter. It's a unique design by FC Technologies and comes with some nice quirks. Let's see how it performs. Out of the box emerges an Allen key and the grip, which is about 20 cm tall. It's made of a high quality plastic, which feels nice to touch. It's refreshing to see a grip design that doesn't follow the usual F16 or F18 inspired shape. The first ergonomic impressions are promising. As a mounting mechanism, it uses the standard 5-pin connector compatible with a wide array of bases like Thrustmaster, Verpal and the Moza AB9 for example. On the side of the grip are two buttons. On the back you can find a large 8-way hat surrounded by an encoder dial. Another button a secured button underneath a locking mechanism and another smaller 8-way hat. Both hats are pushable as well. It doesn't come with additional controls like a brake or autopilot disengage lever on its base. On the front is a dual stage trigger that's also secured with the locking mechanism on top. The grip is twistable as well and of course you can optionally lock the mechanism. Let's check out how the switches sound and feel. On the old Warthog base, neither the twist nor the encoder will function. All features are functional on more modern bases like the Warbird and the CM3 from Verpal. The AVA will also get support, but FC is working on a firmware update at the moment to make it happen. I've also tried the grip on a Moza AB9 base. It seems to work if the mode is set to Constellation Alpha, but no guarantees from my side, so consider it inofficially supported so far. Due to its design, you can mount the grip on verbal bases at any angle you want, just like on FC's own base. However, for Thrustmaster bases, you'll need an offset adapter. I did some testing and found out that the grip gets better the lower you mount it. It's okay for desktop use, but not optimal. Especially the safety mechanism is hard to operate if the grip is elevated. Everything performs a lot better mounted on a desk clamp or centered on a sim rig. Apart from that, it's fine from an ergonomic perspective with only minor drawbacks. The hats use high quality switches with just the right amount of resistance. They aren't gated though, which might lead to unintended inputs. The buttons are snappy and both stages of the trigger provide different haptic and acoustic feedback. An aluminum alloy appears to be the material used for the safety lock. It's nice to operate but vibrates noticeably at the end stop. Accessing the button underneath can be difficult when the base is on your desk. On a clamp mount or center mount, there's no problem to reach it at all though. The encoder is a nice addition. I guess you can already think about several use cases for it. I think its feedback could be a bit snappier and tighter, but it's still good and operates precisely. What I didn't like as much are the buttons on the side of the grip. They are pointy and the lower one is hard to reach. On the plus side, the buttons are raised enough to be easily located by touch, even without muscle memory. Their pointiness still puts me off though. Overall, it resembles a blend of F16 and F18 grips, making it an excellent option for medium or even small hands. Additionally, the twist axis offers a wider range of deflection than usual, enhancing precision. I think FC is on the right trail now with their own unique designs, the engineering is good to excellent and the price is reasonable. Right now the grip is available for 159 euros plus taxes as an early bird offer. Link in the description. For a complete market overview check out my HOTAS roundup here. I'll upload an updated version at least once a year. Thanks for stopping by, fly safe and see you soon.